It is getting close to that time when you usually see a massive invasion of box jellyfish. Recently, about a thousand invaded Oahu shoreline from Pokai to Hanauma Bay. Now, the monthly influx is due later this week, but are we doing enough to prevent and to treat those painful stings? KITV 4's Catherine Cruz talks to one woman who says no. Hanama Bay draws thousands of people every day. Suzanne Hammer swims there several times a week. She recalls being stung on her face by jellyfish last month, which she says stayed swollen for days. My main concern is all these poor visitors that are getting stung, and uh, especially children, and you know, they just don't have any idea what's hit them. When it hits, a box jellyfish is so incredibly painful. It was all I could do to make to to swim in. UH researcher Angel Yanagihara is a jellyfish expert who believes more can be done to protect beachgoers. She says the sheer number of visitors and the unique features of the bay warrant more focus. The, the sting hazard there is, is magnified. Um, and the last couple of months, there's been uh, an enormous number of stings being reported from there. Last year, the city closed the bay twice because of jellyfish. The decision was based not just on the influx, but on the number of ambulances that were called to respond. Last month, on January 19th, the number of stings hit 50 as of noon, but the beach stayed open. Hammer wonders if there shouldn't be a better policy to trigger the closure. Lifeguards make a recommendation to the Parks Department, who in turn check with the managing director's office. We need to have better education, more prevention, um, and better treatment options. Immediate treatment with hot water is what Yanni Gihar's years of research has shown is effective for the pain and to limit the spread of toxins. A year ago, Yanni Gihar said Ocean Safety supported requests to have hot water available at the beach. Here it's a year later and sting victims are still being put in cold water showers. I know from my own personal experience that is absolutely horrific and the worst possible thing to do. Yanni Gihara is hoping to get a task force together of ocean safety and city parks and tourism officials to consider what more can be done. Clearly, I think we just need to, to coordinate our efforts. Um, you know, I think everyone uh, wants the best outcomes. She's working with UH Hilo Pharmacy School to produce a concentrated lotion to help prevent and treat the painful stings. Yanni Gihara has a contract to provide divers with the military special forces and is willing to offer it free to city lifeguards. The reaction to the sting, she says, isn't about sensitivity. This isn't a bee sting. This is more similar to a rattlesnake bite. You're not allergic to rattlesnakes. You're not sensitive to them. It's a dose response. Now, Yana Gihara has applied for a grant to help create a box jellyfish task force to come up with the best protocols to deal with the monthly invasions. She says the problem isn't going to go away. Back to you.